everybody. Thank you for joining me again. Uh, I truly appreciate you watching the videos, liking, sharing, and commenting. I greatly appreciate that. So let's go ahead and get into this book review. The book is called When Love Calls, You Better Answer by Bertrice Berry. And this is the cover of the book. I love that. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, so let's get into this goodness. Uh, the main character, Bernita, came into a family that had unhealed wounds and she got scarred as a result. Bernita was born to a mother that basically passed her off to her sister, Aunt Babe. She grew up in a home with a spiteful slash mean grandfather, an absent mother, and a promiscuous aunt. Bernita tried to be the perfect child and stayed out of the adult's way most of the time. Her life took a twist when a teacher saw potential in her. Bernita went off to college and began a career in social services, assisting women at a battered woman shelter. Bernita lived an isolated life, had little to no friends, and had a few intimate relationships that didn't turn out too well. Bernita went on a journey to find herself love and happiness because those things eluded her for so long. Things she longed for but seemed to always be outside her reach. This is a short story so I can't tell you too much more than that. Uh, you'll have to read the book to find out about the shenanigans and revelations that occurred. I can definitely tell you the names of the characters in the book had me cracking up. The author does give a little explanation um, at the end of the book of how the names came about. But still, I'm like, really? <laughs> but you'll have to read the book to find out what those names are. You will have to read the book to find out if um, Bernita comes to grips with her past. Will she discover her true self? Will she be able to forgive and find peace? Will Bernita say yes when love calls? This story really takes you on this hilarious and equally sad journey. Many of us are looking for love in all the wrong places, from all the wrong things and people. Love begins with yourself and flows outward. And you know when it comes back to you. This is a slow burn, self-discovery and love story. Often we need to reach back and find the why and see how things are connected in order to have a future worth living. This book took you on that exploration. There are so many sayings and pearls of wisdom in this book that I wanted to write them all down, but I stopped myself. I was like, if I write this all down, I'm kind of writing the book again. <laughs> so I intend to purchase the book just for the little tidbits. Um, so here are some that I did jot down that I would like to share with you. In the book, it says, you deserve to be happy. You deserve to be loved. Another one is, nobody ever did wrong by looking back. The problem comes in when you don't want to move forward. And another one that says, understand this. Don't ever get too comfortable with time. You always have less of it than you think. And finally, love is all around you. You just need to tap into it and be specific. Okay, so that takes me to how I found out about the author, Miss Barry. Okay, so I was scrolling through Facebook and happened upon one of her videos. It was about love never ending. She caught my attention with the, 
I want to tell you a story. <laughs> I loved it. I was like, tell me a story. <laughs> so that hooked me right there, okay? Uh, then her voice got me all warm and fuzzy like a good blanket, getting you ready for whatever this story is going to be. Um, the fact that her face was literally in your face. I mean, it was like, I thought, move the camera back. <laughs> but then I got used to it. And it was like some little friend getting real close to give you some juicy goodness, okay? So I I loved her vulnerability. Um, there were a few videos that I could see the tears. And I could hear the inflection in her voice. And it was moving right along with her message. Um, the messages are short. There's a little bit of comedy sometimes in it. Sometimes the messages will make you chuckle. Um, it seems to be um, her life experiences that she shares. Um, I believe she shared one about her granddaughter. Um, she shared one um, about um, being critiqued for one of her presentations. Um, she got some kind of email that kind of said well this is what you did wrong or something to that effect so their life experiences with a little bit of a message attached to it um sometimes they are very heartfelt sometimes they're comical sometimes they're motivational um so it's just a good variety that i have seen thus far in her videos um in one of the videos, she must have said something about writing or book or something to that effect. And, well, you know me, I went to go Google it. <laughs> and that is how I found this book that I absolutely love. Okay, this I found it. I found it. I found it. I found it. <laughs> Luckily, my local library had it. But I do intend to purchase it if I can from, well, you know, wherever I can find it to purchase it. So that is a little bit of background of how I found this book. Um, the book resonated with me on so many levels. Um, it was like a wise auntie giving pearls of wisdom wrapped in comedy to lessen the severity. But yet, you know it's the truth. Um, if you read with the intent of gaining a little something, it will give it to you. If you read it just to do so and get some laughs, it'll give it to you. Either way, you will walk away with something. There is a slew of discussion topics that could be generated from reading this book. The topic on the process of healing oneself, past or present for that matter. The topic of forgiveness. Is it for you, them, or both? Understanding where one is coming from in terms of how their upbringing or past has an effect on the current actions of a person. The topic of self-love and care being crucial to your happiness and joy. Is it difficult to allow others to love you after being abused or in bad previous relationships? Does working on yourself, making yourself stronger mentally, spiritually, and physically lessen your chances of being a victim? The topic of domestic violence and how one escapes a situation. This story is lighthearted, which made it an easy digest. There are some triggers I will make you aware of. Um, there is domestic violence, sexual assault, and commentary on religion mentioned in this book. Um, not in too graphic detail, but you will get the picture. Uh, the story is told from a deceased relative perspective, so if that would give you pause, uh, there's your warning. The story is told as if you were hearing a good old story from your sister friend. So how it's written is really like a dialogue. So in some parts, um, I kind of had to reread a little bit because, I mean, that isn't how I would speak. But we are reading the book from, you know, uh, what someone else is saying. So that's how that person talked. So that's how it was written. 
Um, this is a good weekend read, curl up, um, and dive in. I do give this book a 10 out of 10. Um, it is a page turner because of the comedic relief and wanting to know what happens next. This would be a slow burn love story, but you'll have to find out if it's a love story involving self-love or intimate partner love or both. You'll have to read the book to find out. So I'm gonna get serious for a moment. Before I go, I do wanna make a statement that if you are in an abusive relationship, there are resources available to help you remove yourself from the situation. I also want to say making excuses, covering up, and not letting others know what is going on will not make the situation better. We all have a right to be happy and safe, above all, safe. If you are in a situation, please seek help from professionals. The National Domestic Violence Hotline number is 1-800-799-7233. Again, that number is 1-800-799-7233. If you need help to remove yourself from a domestic violence situation, please get help from professionals. Okay? Now, I know that was heavy ending, so let's breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Now think of five things you are grateful for. Okay? Okay. Are we good? Are we good? Okay. So, I would be so happy if you would subscribe, click share, tell a friend, leave a comment. Um, if you've read the book, comment your thoughts. Um, if you haven't, I highly suggest you go get it. It is an entertaining book. It does have pearls of wisdom um, and it is told like you are getting a good story from your sister friend. So go get it. Read it. Um, I would also suggest that on Facebook you follow Miss Barry because that is how I found her. So if you follow her on Facebook, you will get some more pearls of wisdom and insight and perspective. So if she is reading this, I'm gonna say, Miss Barry, keep doing what you are doing. I absolutely love it and I am a fan now. And so until next time, keep turning the pages, my book lovers.